Hello, I'm Astrid the Viking. Thank you for studying with me. I'm a full-time personal trainer and current EWW Women's Champion. Today, I'm going to be studying fitness and mindset. I've seen a lot of people come into fitness and fail and they fail because they're approaching it all wrong they think they've got to conform to a certain standard they've got to be able to do certain things and it's such a sad sad thing as a trainer when someone comes in and they're not open-minded about the pathway to achieving their goals they want to be able to do certain things. Now, don't get me wrong. I'm not saying that you shouldn't aspire to be able to do things and to be better and to be able to jump higher and be stronger and all the rest of it. Of, of course, of course you should do that. But what I'm saying is that there needs to be realism in that sort of stuff, okay? And we can all push the boundaries, absolutely. We can all step outside of what society considers to be normal and prove everyone wrong. And I love that shit. I fucking love that shit. But... We have to be realistic so look at your goals and look at your desires and and look at what's what makes you happy as a personal trainer i worked in a gym and i used to conduct people's inductions for them they'd come in i do the health questionnaire with them work through all of that stuff the park you and i say to them right then what is it that you want to do? What are your goals? And they'd say, oh, well, I've um, I've had a baby and I've had a bit of time off. So I've, uh, I'm have i just, you know, coming back now. I just want to kind of get a bit fitter. I want to do this. I want to do that. Or, you know, they'd say, oh, I've just, you know, used to come to the gym all the time and I just kind of stopped. I was just being a bit lazy, really. But I'm just getting back into it now. You know, I'm getting a bit older or, you know, I want to lose a bit of weight or whatever. What Whatever it is okay all pretty similar goals though and pretty similar reasons for having stopped I'd say to them okay well have you been doing any exercise have you been doing anything at all whilst uh, not coming into the gym and uh, <laughs> I'd hear it so so many times well yeah 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 I've been uh, I've been doing a bit of jogging and I'd be like oh all right, okay so you like that then do you like like a bit of jogging and, <laughs> and they'd go no, 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 I fucking hate it. But you've got to do something, in you? And I'm like, no. Like, no, you don't. Like, why are you running if you, if you hate fucking running? I just can't make sense of that. I honestly can't understand why people put themselves through hours and hours every week of shit that they hate. My pearl of wisdom to you, regards to your fitness, would be <laughs> apply the same logic to your fitness that you did to wrestling. Why did you start wrestling? Why do you desire to be a wrestler? Because you fucking love it, right? So why would you not treat your, your fitness in the same manner? There's this long-standing sort of idea that you have to be able to be the biggest and the, the fastest and all the rest of it to wrestle. And you actually don't <laughs> you, you don't there's a place for everyone in wrestling okay and you don't have to have the, the the biggest muscles you don't have to be the biggest baddest bastard that there was do you know what i mean you just got to be you so when you do your fitness do what makes you happy because if you don't do what makes you happy if you spend all of your time trying to train so you look like that geezer you ain't never going to get there because you've got to look at who you are. I understood this about myself. OK, I spent my whole lifetime wanting to be like all the other girls and I never, ever was. And I spent years being so unhappy with myself because I was tra chasing an impossible dream. I like to drink beer. I like to stay up late. I like to enjoy myself. Does that mean I'm not going to be the best wrestler in the world? Maybe. Does it mean I won't achieve my goals? Probably not. It just means I'm going to find it 
harder, potentially. Okay? You want to be the best of the best of the best. It doesn't mean that you've got to go into the gym and grind and grind and grind and not have a life. Because life's all about balance, yeah? You've got to enjoy your journey, okay? Because if you don't, you'll, you'll quit. Be silly. Let loose. Go fucking crazy, man. Enjoy the process. If you want to walk around in your back garden on your hands, do it. <laughs> do it. There's literally, absolutely no requirement for you to be in the gym, slamming around the 25 plates like Billy Big Spuds, giving it the large one. Literally no, no point if, if it doesn't make you happy. Find something else. Find another way. Maybe maybe instead of de deadlifting in the gym with an Olympic bar, maybe you're going to go and find yourself an empty beer barrel and chuck that around the garden a little bit. Perhaps you've got a physical job and perhaps you get a lot of your functional mobility from that job on its own. Think about how you can enhance that. Do you know what I mean? There's no such thing as a bad workout, okay? And you're only ever going to regret the one that you didn't do. But you do have to bear in mind your capabilities. You can improve your strength and your fitness all day long, but there are always going to be limits to what you can do. As I have limits, you know, I'm a strong person. But, well, I'll give you an example. We was working on the small package at training one day. I'm not very good at being put in a small package. I just don't, I'm a bit big to just fold up like that. <laughs> There are certain moves I can do and take and other ones, they just don't work. And fitness is the same as that, okay? So for you, you need to find your thing, okay? What is the most useful tool that you have? Are you good at running? Are you good at jumping? Are you good at dancing? Perhaps Sunday morning, you know, with the other half, Anything that gets you sweaty, I'm just saying, it's valid. It's valid, all right? <laughs> what I'm trying to get at, I think, is that fitness should be fun. Essentially, that's all I'm really trying to say. If it's not fun, you're not gonna you're not gonna want to do it. Particularly, it's going to be a chore for you. You're gonna have to drag yourself there. You are not gonna give it everything you've got. If you put yourself through the trauma of something like that one day you will fail and that will translate into your wrestling if you go into the wrestling school or the wrestling ring and you try and be something you're not everyone knows they can see it because it's not believable all right and fitness is like that it's like you will get the best workout of your life, right, when you're doing something you enjoy. Even if that is putting on your red spangly hot pants and dancing around your living room with your airbrush like Lady Gaga. It doesn't matter how you train. It matters more that you enjoy your training. What is important is that you train effectively in whatever it is that you are doing. People come to me because of who I am. Not because they want to be me, but because I inspire them. Because I'm a mum with four children, I'm not lean, you know, but I look like I train, you know? Have you seen? Have you seen it? I'm packing it, man, all right? And I'm just a standard, regular person, okay? And people, they look at me and they're like, I want a bit of that. I want a bit of that. And I have to say to them when they come to me, I can train you. I can make you fitter and I can make you stronger. But you're never going to look like me because you ain't me. God damn it. I can bicep curl a whole person up from the floor and chuck them into a turnbuckle. Most people are not going to be able to do that. Don't get me wrong, I know I'm not the only one. But 
Most people are not going to be able to do that. So as a fitness instructor, as a personal trainer, my job is to help people achieve their goals, but realistic stuff, okay? And I cannot stress this enough to you. Don't try and be me. I don't want to be like everybody else. I'm glad I'm not like the other mums on the school run. I'm glad I'm like this because I'm me. And everyone knows who I am in my hometown. Like, I'm a face in my hometown. Everyone knows me and it's great and it's fun. And don't get me wrong, there's always going to be haters. But you know what we say to the haters. Fuck the haters, all right? Just remember, every single day of your life, all you need for success is to believe in yourself and to be happy, okay? Because without that, you've got nothing, nothing at all. If you believe in yourself, everyone else will too. Think about what you can achieve and think about what's realistic when you train, okay? Because if you're in the gym day after day, sweating it out, trying to train to be like the big geezer, like I said a minute ago, all you're actually going to do is demotivate yourself because you are never, ever going to get there. So I would say with regards to your fitness, find something you love. If you love going in the gym, crack on, buddy. Do it, okay? But if you like to salsa dance in a pair of sequin hot pants, do it. Be fit and be strong, okay? But don't try and be anything that you're not. OK, it's a little bit like the same thing to, with, to do with gimmick. When you come into wrestling and you choose your gimmick, someone said to me, choose something that you can easily portray. So something that you're already doing in your life would be good. And then you just make it bigger. I'm covered in Viking tattoos and I fucking love that shit. So for me, it was a no brainer. I was like, I'm going to be a Viking and I can carry that shit off. Everyone that knows me in my personal life, they know I'm a Viking. Like that's, I, I, you know, I'm not just Katie that wrestles as Astrid the Viking. I am a Viking. Everyone thinks I'm a Viking because I live it and I breathe it, okay? When you apply that same mentality to your fitness, it's easy because that fitness slots into your day then easily. It's not a chore for you. It's not like it's something that you've got to drag yourself there and you just don't, oh, I'm not enjoying this and I've got to go and I've got, to, I've got to get it done. You know, it's hard, man. I can't tell you the amount of times and not even just with regards to fitness or wrestling, but anything in life. If I know I've got to do something that I'm not looking forward to, that's, I don't really enjoy it. You know, you might have to go and visit your auntie Brenda. You know, she kisses you on the cheek and she's got that beard, you know, going on. And you're just like, Ugh, and she always, Ugh, you know, leaves a wet patch on your cheek. You know, the dread that you feel, that horrible anticipation in your belly. That's what I'm talking about. You get that. If you've got to go and do fitness or you've got to wrestle or you've got to go to Auntie Brenda's, you don't want to go. You're not going to enjoy it. You're not going to look forward to it. You're not going to put any effort in. You're not going to be passionate about it. And you're not actually going to achieve your maximum potential, are you? Do you want to look like me? Why? You ain't me. The thing is, right? The thing is, people are always looking around at everyone else. Stop it. Fucking stop it. I'll tell you something, right? Even though I look the way I look, I'm lucky to look this way because I barely train. Once or twice a week I go in the gym. I'm too fucking busy all the time, actually, to go in the gym as much as I'd like. I'd love to be able to train more, but I can't because, as I told you before, I'm a single mum and I work and I'm fucking busy, all right? I just happen to look this way because I'm lucky. I'm predisposed to having good muscle on my body. I could train to enhance it. You could train to look more like me or more like The Rock, or whatever it is that you just look at and go, wow, fuck, yes, that's how I want to look. But I, honestly, I don't have to do, I don't have to work hard to look this way. You wouldn't believe it if I told you what I do for fun and how I keep fit. Mum? Mama! Are you going for a run or what? Running? Do I look like I was built for running? I want to get fit. I throw axes. Astrid, it's me.
I have been Astrid the Viking. Thank you for studying with me today. Don't forget to subscribe so you can continue to study the theory of wrestling.